Hello there, welcome to a new achievement game. We're going to be playing as Switzerland for the Switzer Lake achievement, which is basically uh, own 99 province, I think it is, and do not border the sea. So that is going to be very interesting. The, the strategy that we're going to be using is basically very simple. Uh, we need allies first and foremost. We're probably going to be expanded to north, but I think we do definitely want to get some allies. Burgundy is pissed at me. I think Austria is probably the better or the only option in that regard, so we'll be going for Austria. And I think we're also going to start improving relations with France. We're not going to be doing any aggressive uh, warfare here until we get into a position where basically I can rely on France or Burgundy, Austria, whatever ally I can get to help me out. Now, with that, we're going to put uh, Savoy as uh, rival. Milan's probably already pissed on me, I would presume. Yep. So. Let us rival some of the small nations around us. And Milan is not someone who will be fighting right away. So Württemberg and Baden seem to be the better options. There's smaller nations to my north here that I can easily conquer. And let's just do this. Form an alliance with uh, Austria. That seems to be a good one. Uh, we'll not be hiring any guys here for the time being. That should be fine. We were pretty lucky with a syndic, uh, 634. He's a random, basically. Uh, stats are random once you start your game. 58 years old though is pretty bad, so we'll have to deal with that later. Plus 10 to production efficiency, minus 10 to monthly autonomy charge, 0 0.10 that is, and minus 5 to the years of nationalism. So we're going to have to, we're going to have pretty, pretty much straightforward when we conquer. Plus 10 national manpower and plus 10 to infantry combat ability, as our ideas right now. So that should make it pretty straightforward. But uh, as as I'm saying here, the strategy for the beginning will just be trying to create some military alliances with uh, either France or Austria to again fight the people that I do not like. They Austria is allied to Baden, so apparently the fact that uh, I rivaled Baden is probably a bad idea then, I see. But uh, we'll just have to try to go with France then, or something like that, Swiss Navy strength. Um, hopefully they'll become friendly to, to us sometime in the future. Uh, for now, however, we'll just wait and see. Uh, I have no idea if I could potentially try and get uh, Venice on board. It would definitely be helpful, but uh, for the time being, I'll sit back. I'll improve relations with both Austria and France, and uh, we'll see here what we actually end up with in terms of alliances. Württemberg might actually be a prime target here, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So, so far I've already had two bad events, basically the one where I lose a stability point, or I take three inflation, I took three inflation now, because again, I want to take up rather quickly here, it turned out to be not the best thing apparently. Then I get this, foreign plots, um, I can get some money for ten Republican tradition, not much money, admittedly. You get one Republican tradition a, mu a year, so it's actually ten years worth of Republican tradition right here, and it's basically to do with your national unrest. So, I can take that, or point of stability. In this case, I think we can seize them and their wealth, and the reason for that is very, very simple. We will probably not be able to re-elect this guy, and that's basically the only other way that you will usually lose Republican tradition outside of events. Uh, the reason why we will not re-elect him is basically because he's very old, 59 years old. He'll probably die before the next election, to be fair, and it's still three more years until that next election, so we have plenty of time to, well, wait, waste. Take your pick. So basically with that information what we're just going to do is just keep on waiting. Uh, I'm still improving relations with uh, both France and of course uh, Austria. And again if I can just get France on my side then a lot is already done. We're getting pretty high with our relations here with them. So again if I can just boost my army up a little bit uh, I can probably get at least a couple of points more down there. So we'll see here if I can make them trust me. And hopefully I can do that because again if I get France on board, then a lot is already done. Especially since Burgundy is already pissed at me. Milan just declared war on Genoa, which is interesting. And again, a Savoy is currently allied with Hungary. Hungary is actually very... Not dangerous, but annoying foe. Because of the fact that uh, we don't want to fight them. Unfortunately, I can't change Baden as a rival until 1469. So it's a very bad move to actually pick them. Because they're allied with Austria, of course. And because of that, Austria don't really want to ally me. That is something I didn't actually consider and realize was actually a thing. So that's my that's my error. That's my mistake. We'll have to deal with that some other time. 
Um, but yeah, we're going to try and see here if we can get into a position where France would like to uh, ally themselves with us. I doubt it might actually happen, but uh, I'll give it a go and we'll see how things turn out. We do have pretty good relations here with Austria, so that's good. And how are we doing Bavaria? How would you feel about an alliance? I can probably get an alliance with Bavaria pretty simple here. So we're going to maintain that diplomat. And I'm going to still be working towards, again, getting the French to, to like me. Unfortunately, I cannot do the royal marriages due to the fact that I am indeed a republic. But I'm going to ask for military access and basically do, well, anything that could, in theory, bring us, well, closer together. Brooklyn guarantee cannot be done, as you know. They're far too rich and powerful for our guarantees to be taken seriously. But yeah, we're going to uh, try and get an alliance up and running very soon. Hmm. Yeah. As you can see, we're trying to build up trust here. Send him to Rome, he'll make a nice bishop. Let's go with that one. The funny thing here is, do I have a diplomatic reputation guy? I do. So let's see here how we how far we're away. We can actually get that done now, as you can see. Diplomatic reputation dude is very, very powerful. France is now our ally. We are allied with France, and if we can get France into a war with uh, Savoy, then a lot is already done. We can then bring well the French into war with Burgundy too, probably. Take France Comte. Even Austria isn't really too big of a uh, too big of a threat right now. But yeah, France is definitely going to be our savior, if you will. They're going to be the most important thing we have around, probably for quite a while. We're also going to ally ourselves with Bavaria. And with those two allies, we are in a very, very good spot. So I'm going to start fabricating claims on things that I'm tempted to take, like Constance here. And again, once France is done with the England War, I'm pretty sure we can then bring them into a war with Savoy. And as soon as this is just Hungary, we should be pretty much... Oh, they do have a defensive attitude towards us, though. Well, that's not the best thing ever. Why does everyone have a defensive attitude towards me? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, we were actually discovered. It actually gave me 7 aggressive expansion with uh, France, 16 with uh, with Austria. But yeah, Constance is definitely something I will be taking here, if, if I can, because again, they don't have any powerful allies, and myself growing is probably going to be a little bit good here. Ally with Bohemia. Burgundy is apparently the protector of the Catholic faith now. But, but basically what the alliance that I have now with the French is doing is basically allowing me a lot more wiggle room. I can be aggressive, I can attack people because of the fact that the alliance is going to protect me. Basically. In its, well, most pure essence, that is what's going to happen. I'm also going to upgrade my army here. We're going to make a, well, fairly bigger one. And we're going to put up our maintenance again because we're going to we're going to war pretty soon. We can also take the first uh, research here, administrative tank for national ideas. And with that, we have to consider what we want to take first. Humanist is probably going to be helpful, but I think we're going for influence. We do need the basically the boost here of aggressive expansion impact. We're in the Holy Roman Empire after all, and basically being able to get vassals is going to be very very useful. So we're taking the uh, a diplomatic group as our first, I think. And we're probably going to wait for taking the first ideas until we have fought this first war. So uh, for now, I'll sit back and prepare, and we'll see what happens. There we go, we have our Conquest Casas Ballet on Württemberg. Uh, since we were actually losing money, I turned down the, uh, well, investment, if you will. So for now, we'll go back to uh, preparing for war. I think our force should be big enough to just overrun them, but we'll still allow a couple of months here just for preparation, if you will. Baden is no longer a valid rival. That's actually quite interesting. Right, Austrians do not like my alliance with France, though, so not surprisingly, we are not in a good spot. Again, I will not get any backup here, as you can see. The attitude towards enemies, the war exhaustion of fighting another war. But it seems like the French is actually interested. We are, we're friendly now, basically. The French do indeed support my actions, and that means that as soon as they're done with their England war, Savoy is going to get uh, going to get wrecked here. 
Yes, they are. So let's go again. <laughs> let's just go ahead here, declare war. Again, as I'm saying here, the war against uh, these guys should be pretty straightforward. Ansbach and Nuremberg aren't actually the biggest, well, strongest allies, if you will. As you can see, we have all of them here. And I'm going to aim at destroying their army now, once and for all. And I actually did. So, at this point in Lack of Trust, not surprisingly, we are pretty aggressive after all. I'm a little bit unsure here if I can actually keep everything at bay. Funnily enough, the general that I got was 5 fire and 3 maneuver, so he's going to be very interesting to have to deal with. I can keep him. It's going to be a loss of, uh, well, some diplomatic tradition. Sorry, no, uh, Republican tradition, 13. Um, I'm a little bit unsure if I want to, because again, as you can see, the build cost is going to just get more expensive the lower it goes. And again, this guy is pretty old. Don't get me wrong, he's good, but he's old, so I think we're going to go with just a bureaucrat here. I think. Just to keep it going, because I'm going to be, again, conquering. I need, I need to be able to make calls, basically. And that is probably going to be my biggest pet peeve. So we'll see how this goes. For now, I'll just focus on Nuremberg and Ansbach, and we're going to force them to be paying us money, basically, uh, once than anything else. And I'll just keep on using this army, bounce back and forth to destroy my enemies, if you will. And that should be pretty straightforward. I'm also very much looking forward to France beating England here, so I can take back my two cores that Switzerland currently hold. So with no further ado, I'll just go ahead and finish these sieges here, and uh, we'll see how uh, things turn out. It should be done pretty soon. So far we've beaten both Nuremberg and Ansbach. The goal, again, ended up being uh, just get... Uh, get... Re well... Uh, what the fuck is it? Ugh, sorry for swearing, but anyways... The war operations. I ordered war operations, basically. And it worked pretty well. So far, we can go ahead and upgrade our military attack to level 4, Pike Square. With our good military attacks plus 0 0.25, land morale increased by half a point, and I can now build an armory. We'll also start here actually uh, unlocking ideas, tribute system, the first in influence, income from vassals plus 25%, and claim fabrication are also going down. On negative side though, Baden is actually now a vassal of Austria, that's why they don't care anymore about my, well, rival ing or said ally. Now, the question is what to do with Württemberg. A full annexation would cost me 15 here, as you can see. But uh, if we look about who's going to be the most pissy, I'm trying to find France here. Minus 14. That should be perfectly alright. The problem is mostly the Holy Roman Empire. They're going to be very, very pissed at this. And if I were to take only Constance, it would be 7. It's basically just a doubling of the, of the points, to be perfectly honest. And it's going to cost me 100, 100 points of... Uh, 100 points of uh, diplomacy as well. So I think it's just better to take the promise that I actually, well, went for to begin with. And I'm just going to force them to give up their deals with Ansbach and to force them everything just for a little bit of extra prestige, as well as the promise, of course, itself. So there we go. I did take Constance, and unfortunately, I didn't actually realize, but Austria does have a claim to the province, sadly enough. That is going to be a potentially very big problem. Austria might actually go for war here against me. So we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, of course, we'll decline that. Uh, France here is, of course, my biggest ally, and I'm pretty sure that France will beat Austria. Let's just be perfectly honest here. France has enough Burgundy as the rival. Very good. Now, would France join me right now? No, they're very close though. They just need to get some war exhaustion done, and then we can go after. Savoy. Brittany and Hungary. Uh, France will probably just kick Brittany's ass then first, and then go after everything else, I would presume. So, it's going to be weird what will happen here. I'll probably go after Piedmont as well. And again, Austria is going to be very, very busy, no matter what I do here. So, it's going to be very interesting. Uh, we're also just going to go ahead and increase the autonomy, because due to the unlawful territory, as you can see here, people get really busy about that. So, uh, Holy Roman Emperor here is definitely going to get his uh, get his ass handed to him. Do I want to support this? Yes, I get a benefit, so I want to support that as well. Yep, that's I'll accept those four, but not anything else. Uh, once we get that far, though, we should be able to uh, take advantage of it, anyways. 
France is willing to join me here in a war against Tuscany, Brittany and Hungary. Do I want to do this? Is the big question now. And I think the answer is yes. Because again, I do have the French on my side. Uh, the big problem, of course, is Hungary, basically. I wish, I really wish I had Austria for this, to be perfectly honest. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen at all. Apparently here also the Milanese did take Genoa, so I'm a little bit surprised that people aren't, well, creating creating uh, collisions against them, but uh, that's not bad entirely. I find it also very funny that they're allied with uh, Tuscany. I could potentially use this to my advantage to take Tuscany out of the equation, but I think not. We're going to clear war here on the Savoy, and I'm going to be relying on the French, but we're going to do that next time. Bye.